lot of young people might not appreciate a job where you take out the trash or mop the floors. But that's not the case for 24-year-old Damazi McDowell. He takes pride in his work. Damazi grew up in the Seattle area and moved a lot. I went to uh, many high schools. I went to shoot almost all of Seattle public schools and I got expelled just because of fighting. Never really had problems with my grades though. At his lowest point, Damazi ended up here, living on the streets, not where anyone wants to be. I couldn't barely even sleep at times because I was outside before I even really knew where the shelters were. You guys have a good morning. But life is different now for Damazi. He's on a new path. He has a safe place to stay and an apprenticeship with the facilities department at New Horizons. This is actually the first shelter I've been to that giving me a job. They give me more of a sense of shelter because they actually give you resources and more resources. Like, we just, like the only way that you're not getting out of homelessness here is if you're not trying. The nonprofit helps young people with a focus on those ages 18 to 24. They help with everything from meals, housing, hygiene, and jobs. They have an emergency shelter for up to 30 people. And they also offer 15 spots in what they call the nest. It's where young people like Damazi can stay longer as they look for work. Through the years, New Horizons has helped literally thousands of young people. But there is truly something special about Damazi. This place would not be the same without Damazi. He's involved in so many different facets of what we do. He's just a part of our community. Damazi says he is grateful for the job training programs they offer at New Horizons. One of their most successful ones is called Street Bean. Dozens of young people participate in this program where they not only learn how to make coffee, they also learn skills that can easily transfer to other jobs. We train in customer service, we train um, in barista skills, in um, kind of whatever it takes to be behind the counter in a customer service role. The Street Bean program has grown so much, they now have two coffee shop locations and their own roastery. And they hope to grow the program even more. Our goal would be to have um, maybe eight or ten coffee shops around the whole Seattle area um, that we're doing um, centralized training in a training facility and we're able to do um, 60, 70, maybe 100 young people a year. And while Damazi is not part of New Horizons coffee program, he enjoys the product they serve. For young people like Damazi, having a job and somewhere safe to stay is critical to getting his life back on the right track. But he isn't just thinking about his future, he also wants to help others have a brighter future too. Damazi has been working with a Seattle nonprofit that helps to advocate for homeless and foster youth. It's called the Mockingbird Society. He's on one of their statewide boards called Youth Advocates Ending Homelessness. This group is made up of foster and homeless youth. By sharing their experiences, they hope to influence policy change, new legislation, and programs. Everybody says that, says I'm a leader and all that. I just try. Those leadership skills recently got recognized in a big way. To his surprise, Damazi was recently honored as the Advocate of the Year by the Mockingbird Society. It's an honor that will open doors for him and allow him to share his story with some key policy leaders in hopes of affecting change to better support homeless and foster youth. It's a very big thing. They said that I get a lot of say in certain things and how things work. I'm gonna tell them everything. I'm not holding nothing back. Watch City Stream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.